got something. It's a smallmouth. Oh, oh, smallmouth. Look at that, guys. Whoa, whoa, did you guys just see that? Oh my god, that was crazy. Hey everyone, Matt from Hook and Reel Adventures here, and today I'm going to be doing some river fishing in a totally new spot I've never gone to before. Um, and I'm targeting smallmouth bass. So I'm going to show you guys my setup for today, what I'm using for bait. And as I'm fishing, I'll give you guys some tips, kind of like the areas in rivers and creeks I like to target when I'm fishing. And uh, if you like this type of content, fishing in rivers and creeks with some occasional pond and lake fishing, you know, shore fishing stuff mixed in, then definitely subscribe because that's, that's what I'm going to be uploading to this channel. This is my favorite way to fish. And uh, if you want to check out my last video, I did a creek fishing uh, video for smallmouth. I caught a lot of nice bass in that, in that video, so I'll put a link in the description below if you want to uh, take a look at that. And anyways, let's get on with the fishing. All right, so my setup for today, similar to the last video, the creek fishing video I did, um, I'm using a slip bobber rig with minnows. I got a mix of golden roaches and fatheads. And I am targeting smallmouth bass and maybe a northern pike because I know there are some nice northerns in this river. So you never know what I might hook into. But I'm going to take the first cast and I'm going to target on the other side of the river on the edge of the current, you can see it's kind of shady over there. And that looks like that would be a good spot to try first. All right, so I'm standing in the middle of the river right now up to my waist in water and I'm gonna cast, kind of see back over there, it's real shady. There's a nice little whirlpool and it's real fishy. We'll see if anybody's home. Those are typically the areas I like to target when I, I go fishing in rivers and creeks is I like to cast into the shaded areas. Whirlpools are always, almost always going to hold fish. And something's playing with it right now. Something's definitely, you can tell the bobber is fluttering a little, so some, something is circling the minnow, it looks like. Ooh, see, bobber down, guys. Well, I got something. It's a bass. Yeah, it's a smallmouth. Nice. Nice smallie. That's the first smallmouth of the day. So I'm going to grab my minnow bucket. And I'll get a better, more up close shot of the fish. Beautiful uh, smallmouth. Not a gigantic one, but still a fish and a lot of fun to catch. Let him go. I'm going to tie off my, my minnow bucket so I don't have to walk all the way back. That's another uh, creek or river fishing tip uh, I mentioned in the other video is it's, it's really helpful to tie a rope off around your, uh, tie off your minnow bucket and then wrap it around your, tie it off to your waist and then tow it around behind you if you go wade fishing. Just makes things a lot easier. You don't have to constantly have to walk back to the shore to grab another minnow. If you're fishing with live bait, it really comes in handy. When you're doing river fishing and creek fishing is you always want to check, you know, for uh, fallen trees and stuff and just cast around structure. That's why I'm going to cast the next time I'm going to throw it over by those logs and stuff. There's a lot of nice little whirlpools back in this area. 
take another cast in this corner where I caught that smallmouth. Ooh, the bobber went down. Bobber just went down, so there's definitely a fish there. I had too much slack in my line, but the bobber was, was definitely down. I'll throw it right back. Right in there. Ooh. Oh, I got something. I got something. I don't know what it is, but I got a fish. A smallmouth? Ooh, look at that, guys. That is a huge crappie. Oh my god, that's a big crappie. Awesome. Now that is an awesome catch. Get it up on the shore and get a better, get some better footage of it. Wow, that's a nice crappie. That's a nice one. I'm happy with that. Go fishing for smallmouth and catch a big crappie, but that's the one the one nice thing about using minnows is, you know, you can catch just about anything on a minnow, um, you know, even panfish. That was a large minnow that I had on too. He slammed that minnow. But beautiful fish. You just gotta love the, the colors on the crappie. I mean, just the speckles and just beautiful fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. And hopefully we can catch another one. Put up a nice fight. Here he goes. All right, so I'm gonna cast right up close to that tree. Right over there. Some shade cover combined with the, ooh, I'm getting a bite. Oh, I got something. I don't know what it is. Is it a bass? I think it's a smallmouth. Oh, he got off. He got off. That sucks. It was a smallmouth. It wasn't a big one, but still, still fun. But you, can't, you fish by trees, you know, and that's usually where you're going to find fish. I'm going to fish the shade. It is a little shallow there. but there could be fish over there hanging out. Oh, <laughs> I actually had a fish and it was, it was too small. It couldn't fit it in its mouth. I'm using a big golden roach. Got something. Oh, it's a large mouth. Not a small mouth, but I'll take it. I was on a golden roach. So, a little baby. Oh, there he goes. All right, so I'm gonna try fishing in these little holes here. See if there's any smallmouth. There's a nice little hole. Oh, oh, smallmouth. Look at that, guys. Nice. That's a nice one there, look at that. And I'll show you where I'm fishing. I'm fishing a small creek that dumps into the river where I was fishing. I'm like really close to where I was fishing, but there's a small creek that feeds right into, uh, into that river. And, I, and it, look, it looked really uh, fishy. I'm like, you know, I'm going to go wander in there and explore a little bit. 
and there are um, some nice holes in here. So I'm going to take some more casts actually. But nice little smallmouth. And he hit that minnow really hard. And you can see right there, there's a, a really nice hole. The water drops off. There's a, actually, there's another hole upstream a little. I might take a couple more casts. I took a couple casts. I didn't, I didn't catch anything or have any action, but I might try it again, but get the release. Oh, there he goes. All right, so I'm fishing right where that creek, I, where I caught that smallmouth, dumps into the river I've been fishing in. And I'm gonna fish the opening. There's tons of shade cover under that tree there. And the water does drop off getting closer to the raccoon there's a raccoon walking along the shoreline here try to get some better footage of them So I'm fishing in the same river. I just moved to a completely different spot. So I'm going to try this for a while. The river bottom here is not muddy at all. It's all gravel and sand, which makes it a lot easier to wade fish. That, that other part of the river was full of mud. It was way too muddy. I'm gonna find some slack water and take some casts in here. So there's some nice holes and drop-offs. There's a nice drop-off here. It's really shallow, but then the water gets deep. So I'm gonna take some casts in here. There's gotta be a smallmouth or something in one of these holes. something guys this little smallmouth I just got here <laughs> like two minutes ago yeah, a little smallmouth So little guy, he hit the minnow pretty hard though. So we're gonna fish here for a while because there's some nice deep water here. Somebody just went by in a canoe, that's what that noise was, but there's, there's a little whirlpool over there and then the water really gets deep there and this whole area here and over here, it's just really shallow, it's all ripples. So we'll focus on this area. I'm gonna throw it right on the edge of the current where it drops off into that deeper pool. Oh, I got something. Oh, another, another smallmouth. That's good. I've only been here uh, a few minutes and I've already caught two bass. Just a little guy, a little better look. I'm using bigger minnows, but they're still hitting them. Oh, here he goes. Now you can see over there, there's an awesome whirlpool. I'm gonna 
throw my minnow in there. Could be a big old smallmouth back in that whirlpool. Whoa, 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 I got something. Right away the bobber went down. Another smallmouth. We're the big ones. I'm happy catching the little ones still, but hoping to hook into a big one. Yeah, that's the key is when you're uh, fishing in rivers and creeks, just this, these whirlpools, they always hold fish, usually, but it's just a little guy. Anyone tuning in right now, I'll show you what I'm using. So I'm using a slip bobber rig, real simple. Uh, use a bobber stop, a little, little string knot you tie on, and then you can adjust your, your depth with the knot and then uh, styrofoam slip bobber, sp uh, split shot sinker. And uh, it's a real simple way to fish and it's very effective if you like using live bait. Minnows are awesome for uh, smallmouth and other types of fish. And uh, I've caught a lot of northern using minnows too, you know, when I'm not really targeting them. I'm just gonna let my minnow drift. Oh, I'm getting a bite right now. I got something. Oh, ho, ho. nice smallmouth. Minnow went flying in the air. Awesome. All right, grab him. It's a good hook set too. A little, little guy, but they're still fun to catch. I'm happy with that, even the little ones. And there are some big ones in here because I've caught, um, I've caught some nice smallmouth out of here before, and other parts of this river. So I'll go ahead and do the release. Right, so I moved to the other side of the river. I was fishing over there, casting this way before. Now I'm on the other side, so you can see the current coming through here. It's really nice, and then it and then it it drops off into a big hole there. So now cast it back in there a little bit. Ooh, Barbara's going down. Oh, I got something. I got something. I think it's a bass. Yeah, another smallmouth. Well, that's cool. I'm happy with that. So I'm definitely going to be coming back to this spot again. There's a lot of smallmouth here. I'll do another uh, video. I mean, so far they're not. They're not big by any means, but they're still a lot of fun to catch. And catching something is always better than catching nothing. So. A little smallmouth. Let him go. Got some Ooh, nice smallmouth. They're smally. Oh, little baby one, but better than nothing. So I'm going to take some casts over by those concrete blocks, too. back to that original spot. I'll throw it right back in there and see if I get any bites.
Whoa, whoa, did you guys just see that? Oh my God, that was crazy. He just came up and just tried to smash the minnow right when I was reeling it in to see if he comes back again. Wow. That'll wake you up. I mean, it's been kind of quiet and then out of nowhere that I had the minnow right in front of me. I, hopefully I captured that good. I'm gonna let my minnow drift in this current again. Let's put a fresh one on. Ooh, bobber down. Oh, I got something. Another smallmouth. Let me just spit out my minnow. That's going to do it for today's video, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a really awesome day of fishing here. I caught a lot of fish. It started off kind of slow, but then it really paid off when I came to this spot. Um, I caught fish within minutes of arriving, and um, I, I definitely intend to come back to the spot again. I'll probably do um, a whole nother video in the future at this place alone and see how many bass I can catch. And, um, and once again, using the slip bobber rig, awesome way to fish, using live minnows. Um, if you want to check out my last creek fishing video, I'll put a link below. Um, I went uh, to a completely different place and caught a lot of bass using the same rig and everything. And um, check that video out if you're interested. And if you like creek fishing, river fishing, and you want to see more content like this in the future and you enjoyed the video, drop me a like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to do some videos fishing in ponds and lakes and stuff too on this channel. But whenever I can, I like to do, you know, uh, film at rivers and creeks. I just like wade fishing the most. It's my preferred way to fish. It's my favorite. Um, so thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.